Hey, cool cats and kittens. Yeah, that was fun. So today I wanted to talk to you about um, a containment technique or a couple containment techniques for those of you who may be feeling uh, really overwhelming feelings right now, or some of you may be feeling dissociated, which is the result of feeling a lot of really big feelings, but you know, just that overwhelm, it feels like it's too much, so our systems just says, nope, uh-uh, not gonna feel anything, I'm just gonna lock up and pretend those feelings aren't there. Um, and some of you may be kind of going along as usual and then something happens uh, that may bring up a little feeling and you might feel really overwhelmed all of a sudden by that little feeling and like the feeling doesn't really quite match to the situation or you may start crying. It's like, why am I crying? I never cry about this kind of stuff. So if that's happening to you right now, this exercise might be helpful. So for those of you who um, are experiencing trauma or have trauma in your system, um, it's helpful to be aware of your container. And so what I mean by container is our body. And so our nervous systems don't have ears or mouths or noses, and so they don't really see or hear um, what's happening on the outside. I mean, it, it does in a way, but it, it takes a bunch of guests that trigger our amygdala, so it doesn't really know. It only knows fight, flight, and freeze and safe. So by creating a container, we can tell our nervous systems, I'm safe, it's okay, things are contained. If you're having a lot of big feelings um, that you're afraid are going to flood out and consume you, then you can feel safe that these feelings are going to be contained and they're not going to flood out. They're not going to take over. This is going to not going to be forever. This is just for right now. And, and you can contain this and you can hold this. So at the heart of our container is our heart. So it's what holds so much of this overwhelm and so much of this our feeling. So in this first technique, if you can take your right hand and place it under your arm, left armpit and then place your left arm around your right shoulder and just really sit with that sensation of holding yourself and leaning into that feeling. And so by doing this, you're communicating to your body, to your heart, to your container that things are contained. That this is where you end and the rest of the world begins. So leaning into that feeling of what your boundary is. So your system can know that things are contained, that you're not going to be flooded or overwhelmed. You can breathe into this. Because for some of us that have trauma, there are holes in our boundaries. For whatever reason, there can be many holes in our boundaries. And so this physical reminder of where you stop and the rest of the world begins can be very, very comforting. And letting yourself know, I can contain this. I can be safe with this. So another technique that can be very helpful is something called, um, it's just a containment exercise called tapping your body or wiping your body. So if you, if, if you want to try this, that's a great one. Um, but this is also a wonderful one. And I, I like this for um, things like sexual trauma or dissociation or kind of a sense of like depersonalization, like you're going somewhere else. And so this one is like, you know, I hear people talking about buzzing or kind of misting or leaving themselves. So this is a really great one for that because it's, it's kind of tapping all of your body, your arms, you can tap them at the same time, your chest, your, your core, your thighs, your legs, all the way up for as long as you need. And, you know, I, even as I'm doing this, I'm kind of noticing that like sensation, that activation in my body, because I'm just suddenly present with all of these nerve endings and I'm just very, I'm noticing my container as I do this. And so that brings me um, this healthy level of activation. And so it can be very, very nice and helpful to just bring you back in your body, in your container, letting you know, I'm here, 
I'm not somewhere else. I'm right here. Mm -hmm. I'm right here, right now, and everything's okay. I'm here for me. So you can also do massaging. It's whatever works. Yeah, wiping, massaging, tapping. So those are containment exercises to um, help solidify that boundary, create that containment so that when we're feeling overwhelmed or we're feeling dissociated because there's so much and um, our system is just trying to hold it all together, letting your system know where that container is can help it relax and maybe let you feel more or maybe let you feel more safe with the feelings that you're having. If you are already feeling more. So thanks for joining me for this containment exercise and I look forward to offering you future techniques that might help you get through this. Take care.